I lived here in Jacksonville, moved to Colorado for nine months, came back to Jacksonville sort of at the start of the pandemic in April, and I was still on the Beach Church email list. <laughs> and so I just saw, you know, volunteers needed or however it was framed. I didn't know what Pablo Towers was either. There are two towers next to each other um, that house older adults. I've been meeting up with one of the residents there who initially needed her, um, someone to grocery shop for her. And I didn't know what I was walking into, but I met her um, that first time. And then we've been meeting up once a week since, and we still do. Um, and I just kind of talk with her for about an hour or so. And then I'll go get her groceries, bring them back. This is a, a pivotal part of her week. Um, and, you know, already with quarantine, we're all isolated to some extent and she's in Pablo Towers alone and they don't have certain community events right now because groups can't gather. And so even just talking with her on the phone for a, one hour a week, roughly. But she impacted me immensely when I was supposed to go grocery shopping for her on a Sunday afternoon. And that morning, early that morning, my mom called and said my dad was in the ER and then he was diagnosed with cancer that same day. And it was very out of the blue. And so I just completely forgot. I did not go grocery shopping for her, didn't even call her. So Monday morning came and then I called her. I felt so awful that I had completely forgotten about her. Um, and when I was explaining what happened, she's the one who started crying and was so sad for me and immediately asked what she could do for me. That was immensely impactful to me. Um, and my family lives five hours away. So with COVID, we weren't able to visit him regardless. It was really comforting to have an older adult just be there. Um, something I didn't expect at all. It's John 15, 13. So there's no greater love than this, than to lay down one's life for one's friends. That's in essence what we're called to do. What it comes down to is like, we don't have to work to earn our salvation and we don't have to volunteer and do like good things. But because of our salvation, because of Jesus's love for us, we get to work, we get to serve. It's a privilege. It's a gift that you're given. Um, and so I, I like to view serving in that framework, in that, with that lens, because that really is what it comes down to. Well, Jesus didn't come to be served, but to serve, you know? And so if I show up and say, let me tell you how I can help you, or what would be most convenient for me, that's completely missing the point. You know, people tell us what they need and it's our responsibility to listen and respond to it.